Now when you're doing a job and you're not sure how much paint you're going to need but you're out in the bush, I mean look at this, how beautiful is this? Listen to the birds. Such a beautiful place to work and uh, it's a long way from the paint shop for sure, I'm telling you. So what you need to do is some, oh there's some nice flowers, frangipani flowers. Absolutely beautiful, look at that. We've got the ducks over there. We've got the birds, parrots. Yeah. So what I'm going to show you is something that I've learned when I um, when I started painting or when I was first starting contracting, or even first starting, that I was many, 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 many miles, like 600 kilometers, so that's 500 miles from the nearest paint shop so I would learn that I need extra paint to do a house like a house like this you don't really know how much paint you're going to need so what you do is if you you get buying two drums you buy yourself an extra one like this one here but you don't get it tinted there's no tint there's no color in that so if I need it for the next job um, I can get it uh, retinted to another colour. So what they do is I always ask for an extra drum and then they put the tint in a little container. So this is called Regency White. And so we just mix that in. I'll box it in with the other drum and um, that saves me having to stop and go and get another drum we're over an hour from the Torbman's shop and delivery wouldn't be till this afternoon if I ordered anyhow and they actually wouldn't deliver one drum I need to buy uh, multiple drums for them to deliver for me um, and then I order it before lunch or 10, 11 o'clock and I get it in the afternoon well that's what you do a little helpful tip from the painter buy an extra drum of paint you can always take it back because it's not tinted and um, yeah you can always use it on your next project or you can on sell it you can do what you want to do it's white it can go any color this one here is a white base so you know any color you can do with it um, this other one here is the rafter color which is an accent base so this is a darker green uh, in a low sheen so this will be for those rafters that i've got there it's also the um, gutter color but the gutter colors are gloss and this is a low sheen so low sheen sticks better covers better and um, then the gloss so if you're going to put two coats on you use a gloss if you're only going to try and do it with one you do this one here so i just started tinting this and i thought i'd better film it for you um, this is a tint what i've done is i've actually mixed some water with it it was it's actually quite a strong tint I poured half the drum, brand new drum in here, so I pour that in there, now get some fresh water, and what you don't want, you don't want the tint up around the edges of it, because what will happen is it won't mix in properly. A little bit more. The, the funny part about it is this tint mixes equally with oil based paint and water based paint so it makes it pretty special and it spreads. Okay so I'm happy with that it's close enough for the job so now we're going to just give that a little stir it's only it's not actually to stir but it's just to stop it from going up on the sides. I did wipe the lid off. You see how it's going on the sides? Um, if we were to put that in a full can, it would come right up here. So by doing this, I can um, eliminate that tint that's getting
I know you've got a special tool to do this or you're going to pull the drill out. But I'm already here. I don't have time to uh, play with games. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to box it back and forwards until we have our colour. We really don't want to be on grass because we're going to leave some paint on the grass. So we'll put on a drop sheet. Just in case I spill some. Nice little workout in the mornings. And when we get down to the stage at the end, and there might be a bit of tint down the bottom, we'll use our stirring stick to pick that up, mix it in. As you can see there, it's just about done. You just get this stick again, pick up any tint that happens to be or any white that's underneath it. See how that white is around the side. We want to mix that in as well. So paint shops use shakers. Um, you don't use a physical, you don't use a mechanical stirrer. You just need to do that as well. Now I like to leave the paint that I'm painting out of. Um, see what you've got to remember is one of these cans do not have a sticker on it now with the colour. So we're going to leave this one, we're going to spray out of that one. Then we're going to put the lid on this one because that's the one I want to finish with. No, I don't strain my paint. Don't have to. Seal that one off. I can just go over with the other paint. It's a spare now. Ready to paint this. This section here goes across here. It's just going to spray it out with the wall colour. Um, but I wanted to show you something here once again double check looks good a eh? looks good enough to paint watch this okay do not paint it doesn't even have to be perfect water now it'll mainly be where the sun is you know where the sun hits it but It doesn't have to be extreme, like it won't be on there. You'll see the milk coming off it, see? That. I mean, it's pretty simple preparation. It doesn't have to be. It's not rocket scientists, okay? Now we're gonna give it another wipe. Okay, we've just got a little bit of wet from coming down there, but the powder's gone. The powder's gone. So, 
do not try and paint over the powder. There is a stuff flood make, it's called EB Emulsa Bond. Um, I have used it before, but I only use it after I've cleaned. It's designed to be used, it's supposed to stick to this stuff, but I use it as a backup in case I've missed some on this, if you know what I mean. It's just one of those things that you can put in because there's obviously little bits and pieces around the nails and stuff like that. It still has a bit of chalkiness. So that's what I feel that the EB is good for. Let's put it on so we don't have to clean product. It's not designed for that, I don't think. While it's powdery, it's not gonna last. Okay, now I'm confident that once that dries, I'll be right to paint it. It's two eggs. Now, Top Knot Pigeon is native to Australia, as far as I know. Uh, as a child, we actually used to eat them um, because we did live out in the bush. But that Top Knot Pigeon is actually, a, I'm pretty sure it's a member of the Dove family. And it's been camped here while I've been painting this house. Uh, it's only just flew off then when I've set my trestles up and started washing the gutter and that down. But um, yeah, so that's your powder that comes off. We've got to get that powder off. But that's how, how beautiful is that, eh? 